Just because someone has had their gallbladder removed does not mean at all that the root causes of their gallbladder disease were removed. That's a bit like saying, there's a criminal at large and we found a victim. So let's take care of the victim and hope the criminal goes away. That's highly unlikely, right? Because in the case of gallbladder disease, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the roots of that are going to be upstream in the physiology, upstream in the biochemistry. And if you remove the gallbladder, but you don't address the thick sluggish bile that caused the gallbladder disease, then there's going to be secondary disease development. It may take a little while, but it will happen because it's the logical outcome. If there's hepatic biliary congestion secondary to some degree of fatty liver and you don't address that, then there's going to be the same stagnation in bile. Uh, that may lead to maldigestion of dietary fats, poor isolation and an uptake of fat-soluble vitamins in the body. And so it's not enough to remove victim body parts, right? The appendix is inflamed, so we take it out. They're fine, right? The gallbladder's inflamed, so we take it out. They're fine, right? You know, their shoulders, bone on bone. We take it out. We replace it. They're fine, right? No, they're not. What we've done is an important, perhaps, intervention if the state of disease of that anatomy was significant. But we haven't addressed the root causes of anything. We've just addressed the more acute manifestation of something upstream that will claim another victim body part given enough time.